If you thought Notion was a powerful tool before, wait until you see what their AI agent brings to the table. Notion has always been a very popular tool for managing workflows and boosting productivity, but the steep learning curve was just too much for some to get over. But the release of their AI agent has made things so much easier to use and has completely transformed how you work with Notion, whether you're a new or an experienced user. Let me show you what I mean. Now to get started to access Notion AI, you would open up first uh, your Notion app or on the website, and you'll see that on the bottom right corner, you'll see this face, uh, which is going to be your Notion AI. So you can click on that and give it prompts on the bottom right, or you can go to Notion AI tab here. If you click on that, it'll just give you the full page uh, for you to interact with the AI tool. And this is like any other AI tool, the way you see it here, where you can prompt it for, you, for them to conduct research and so forth. But what really sets this tool apart in Notion is that you'll notice that on every page that you go to, that you have open, that the Notion AI is just kind of hiding in the background uh, for, for you to give it any prompts. So when I flip through these notes here, you'll see that the Notion AI face is always there. This really gives me the sense that really you're the center of your work and the AI is just there in the corner waiting to jump in whenever you need assistance. So for example, on this brand new notes page, I could be typing my new notes or a script for a YouTube video or just taking notes in a meeting. If there's something that I don't know how to do, like create a table, I can just ask the Notion AI on the side by opening this up and say, create me a table or a database or create me an image uh, for you to insert onto this page. And it'll jump in and do that for you while you continue on doing your work. So it's really a collaborative assistant that is there available to help whenever you need it. Whereas other AI tools, I feel like they're really the center of the work and that I'm just giving it prompts to do the work on my behalf. Whereas in this case, it really is that you're doing the work and you're producing the work and it's just there to help you improve the work that you're producing. Now, personally, I found Notion's learning curve to be quite steep in the beginning. So it was difficult for me to really take advantage of all the powerful tools that I knew it had to offer. I've seen a lot of people use it and produce lots of incredible work with it. And I've just not had the time to be able to figure out how they managed to do that. But now with the AI agent, I can just prompt it and ask it to maybe produce some of the things that I've seen done by other people. So if I go to the Notion AI tab here, you'll notice that there are a few default options here. So I tried creating the create task uh, tracker and see what it produced for me. So you'll see that it actually created a new page as opposed to just giving me descriptions on how to create one, it does it for you. It created a new page here called task tracker and it, it gave it a, a cool icon there. So if I click on that, it's managed to actually create a task tracker that I can use. And I may have always wanted to try and create one, but I've never been able to, to do it myself. And now it did it for me. So here uh, I can add the name of the task. I can assign it to people. I can have a due date that I can uh, type in here. Uh, it's got a calendar input here. So let's say it's due on the 31st. Uh, I can type in notes, uh, priorities, and the status. And it even gave me the option of being able to view this as a calendar or by status as well, which is really neat. Now, suppose that I'm working with this and I really didn't like uh, certain columns and I didn't need it and say, uh, remove the column called assignee. It would actually go ahead and do exactly what you asked it to do. So hopefully it'll just remove it. And there you go. You see that it removed the column that said assignee and left everything as is. Uh, suppose under status, um, I want there was to-do status in progress and done. Uh, let's suppose I wanted to change one of them and you can see that it's thinking and it's working and it's updating the task tracker for you and it says it's done. So let's go see what it looks like. So under status, uh, they changed it to currently being worked on and uh, it's in the yellow status like I asked it to. Now, one of the things that I've heard a lot of people use Notion for is to create databases. And for me, that sounds like a really fancy term where I don't really work with a lot of databases, but I also wanted to see if I can create a database for myself. Now, for all you people out there who have to pack lunches either for themselves or for young children that, that you may be taking care of, I have a hard time coming up with new lunch ideas or just coming up with lunch items to be able to pack for my kids. And I almost wanted to track the lunches that I previously made or create a database of maybe lunch menu items that I can dig into and 
try packing for my kids. But I don't know how to create databases on Notion. So now I can just ask the AI agent to be able to create a database on my behalf. So I went to the Notion AI tab here and I'm just going to ask, create a database for lunch menu items. So I asked it to create a database uh, for lunch menu items and the columns should include certain information like what the name of the lunch is, what ingredients are needed, what day I packed it and uh, how I make it, so a recipe. So you'll see here that it actually made a new page called lunch menu. So I'm gonna go see what it did. Now, as you can see, nothing is actually populated. So I can go ahead and enter uh, my personal items in here and type things in. Uh, but if I wanted to come up with new lunch ideas, I can even ask Notion AI. So I asked it to create some new uh, lunch idea entries uh, that I can pack for my kids. So you'll notice here that I didn't ask it to create me an ingredients list or find me a recipe. I just asked it to generate uh, some new lunch ideas that are healthy options uh, for me to pack my kids for lunch. But it intuitively knew to find recipes and put them in the recipes column and also the ingredients that I would have to go and shop for along with the name of what the lunch is. So it actually gave me five lunch ideas uh, with the ingredients that I need and the recipe for how to make it. So I think this is really neat because you can actually go ahead and keep this page as a working document where you can add things, you can edit things, you can type things out and work on this page like it's your page, but you can, but you always have this Notion AI tool or this assistant on the bottom right corner for you to ask it to jump in and help anytime uh, you're stuck for ideas or just stuck on the page that uh, you have an idea in your mind, but just don't know how to get it on the page, you would be able to ask the AI to be able to do that for you. So another cool feature that I like to use is the transcription feature. If I were to go up here for on the page and click on a new page here, you'll notice that one of the default items are AI meeting notes. So I'm going to click on that. And when I do, it actually gives me this box where I can start transcribing. So what this does is you can actually speak notes to it, or if you're in a meeting uh, or in a lecture hall for that matter, and you just want to focus on what the person is saying and not busy trying to record everything down, you can actually start transcribing the audio and it'll type everything out that it hears. And even after that, it'll be able to summarize in short form or in bullet form, what the meeting was about and the, the key takeaways of the meeting. So I'll show you what it does. This is just a meeting and a list of items that Notion AI can do. So they, I would like to highlight the feature of uh, trans, the transcription tool on how the AI meeting tool can uh, transcribe notes on your behalf and summarize it afterwards. So as you can see here, it already gave me a summary. Uh, but in addition to that, you'll see that there's different options that you can see. So if I click on transcript, it'll actually show me exactly the transcript word for word for what I said, and it'll automatically generate an overview or a summary of the particular meeting. Now, in addition to this, because this is a working document, you can go ahead and again, the Notion AI is available for you on the bottom right corner. Besides just the transcription feature, I'll ask it, do you have any other AI features that you would like to highlight for Notion? So as you can see, it's found 28 results. It's surfed through the web and looked for other features that it has to offer. And then I can ask it, can you add these points to this document. And what it did here, I'll just minimize this, is that it actually copied and pasted all of the features that it researched into the page that we're uh, collaborating with. So uh, it has added the information to the page that I asked it to. Now, one of the things I did wanna highlight, if you go under the Notion AI, you'll notice that there are these options down here, auto, research, and all, all sources. If you click on auto, that you have actually access to be able to chat with other popular models directly like Claude, Gemini, and ChatGPT. So with the one AI tool with Notion, you actually have access to many other popular tools such as ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude. So when you, it would actually choose the best model for it to be able to conduct and execute the task that you gave it. In addition to that, you'll notice that there's the research button here. So like any other AI tool like ChatGPT or Gemini, you can conduct research and also have it search the entire web if you like. And in addition to that, you can, if you have databases or certain notes 
uh, that's already typed into Notion, you can also have it uh, access your notes as well so that it will not just search the web, but it'll search through your notes to see if it can find the information that uh, that you asked it to find. Along with that, a great additional feature that Notion AI also has is the ability to be able to collaborate or integrate other apps. So if you look down here and click on this bar, you have Workspace AI connectors where you can connect your Gmail, your Google Calendar, Google Drive, your Teams, Slack, uh, and many other apps that you can actually integrate straight into Notion AI for it to be able to collaborate and connect with other apps that you might be using already, which is a powerful additional feature that, that comes with Notion AI that not a lot of other AI tools come with. Like many other AI tools, Notion AI has the capability of being able to analyze PDFs and images, as you can see from this option on the bottom of the Notion AI page. I have a real estate report uh, from Toronto Real Estate Board uh, about the sales uh, in the month of September that I would like to be able to, for it to summarize. So if you have documents on your Google Drive or you have a Microsoft Word document or PDFs for that matter, you can actually attach it to the prompt box and it will be able to just summarize everything for you that you need, that you need to know. If I were to show you what the PDF looked like, uh, the PDF had a tremendous amount of data and information. So it's got 27 pages of sales data and lots of numbers and uh, just being able to read through this uh, would be very time consuming and difficult to do. And this is the result that I got from the summary that I asked it to make. It summarized it in basically in one page. If you're someone that uses AI tools to conduct deep research for you, like ChatGPT or Gemini that does deep research, Notion AI has the exact same feature built in. It actually uses the models of Claude, Gemini, or ChatGPT to be able to conduct this type of research for you. So you should actually get the same result that you would as if you would have used them on their separate separate platforms. And I'm going to ask it a question for me to for it to research. So as you can see, it's uh, displaying its thought process here and it says it's researching. So what it's actually doing is it's surfing the web and going through multiple websites to find the information that you asked it to find. So instead of you having to go and search and look into these websites and read them for yourself and summarize that information on your own, it's actually doing all that legwork for you. So it's going through all the websites that it can find and present the information to you in one summary. One thing I did wanna show you is how you can personalize your Notion AI. So if you go to Notion AI and click on the actual face here, you can also click on the personalize on the top right corner. But if I click on the face, you can actually give the face a name and be able to uh, give it uh, particular hats or um, other decorative features like a scarf, a flower, um, or have a cat on its head. And I'll call this Asian, let's say Phil. In addition to not just customizing your avatar, but you can give it customized instructions as to how you want it to conduct work or how you want it to interact with you. So there are some default ones here like uh, sidekick, warm and friendly, minimalist, simple and efficient, or you can create your own and define your own style of uh, an AI agent. So I can give it some information as to who I am, uh, who my target audience is for my YouTube or for my work, and uh, so that it can keep that stuff so that it can keep that particular profile in mind when it's always producing answers and work for me. So in case this is something that was useful to you, I just wanted to show how you can personalize and customize your own AI agent. Now, as you can see, Notion AI agent has the capability to be able to conduct a lot of the work that you would be able to do on Gemini or ChatGPT or Claude separately, but with the added bonus of being in the Notion platform. The feeling I get with Notion AI is that the star of your work is really you and that you would be producing your own work and that the AI agent is available to help you produce your best work. Whereas a lot of the other AI tools that I've worked with, I'm really going to it to produce the work on my behalf, which really shouldn't be the approach that we take with AI tools. Working with the AI agent in Notion has really helped me bring a different perspective on what AI agents can do to help me actually produce my best work. If you would like to sign up and use the Notion AI agent, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to use and sign up and try it for yourself. Let me know in the comments below as to how you use Notion and Notion AI agent to help improve your work. I want to thank you for the time that you have spent with me today as I truly do value your time. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.